Throw guard whip here at 3699 Ranch. About lunchtime, Saturday, the 15th of June. So June's halfway over already. And it just, it feels like fall outside of the humidity so far. Unbelievable weather. I'm sure a lot of people are having this uh, funny stint. Um, hurricane season is like in September, isn't it? But it's like fallout from a hurricane out here. I'm not able to get the bike out very far from home. Yet yesterday, I felt comfortable enough to go down to the west side of Columbus real quick and and, and back. Uh, I could have went to some places this morning. I just didn't feel like riding the bike over to them. Um, um, and there's not many motorcycles out today. My garden is overtaken with weeds. It's embarrassing. I'm going to put some clothes on and run out here in the garden, I think, for today. So, doesn't that sound exciting? And, uh, I think I'm, I'm all caught up on a lot of the stuff to where I can mess around. And some years you ride the bike more than others, and some years you don't, basically, in a nutshell. And the snowmobile is really like that. I bought the I bought the snowmobile. It had like 450 miles on it. It was 27 years old, and I've had it 15 years, and I've put another 450 miles on it. Um, 300 miles were in one year, and I want to have it ready in case I have a, a bad winter. Uh, I really have to have a snowmobile, and it was bogging. It blew the fuel pump. It sent the uh, fuel through the engine. So I had a, a mandatory seal change on the PTO side. The mag side, the puller was going to cost $100. And they said that the mag side rarely goes bad. So I thought, I need to get it running smooth. And we'll, we'll see if we can get this done. And ordered a carburetor kit for it. Installed it. It didn't make much of a difference. And then... I put the new plugs in and it was foul plugs the whole time basically uh, it runs pretty rich anyway um, on the garden something I hadn't did for a while was the Epsom salt um, I bought an eight pound bag of Epsom salt for um, five bucks but I used half of it almost and that's your magnesium and it's it's the as coarse as uh, Epsom salt is like uh, table salt almost, and but I, I don't think it, uh, table salt's magnesium. But the the magnesium helps the plant take up the triple twelve, the fertilizer you put on, and it, it's supposed to make the fruit sweeter and. I just thought maybe my garden needed something. It just might be time. And it really needs me out there right now pulling weeds, basically. They're overtaking my flowers bad. Uh, the snowmobile. Where's the parts at for this guy? I got the parts around here somewhere. Okay. I put an all balls um, sled parts guy from Medford, Wisconsin sent me. Um, a carburetor rebo kit from all balls and th that was kind of a doozy to get in there and get that car be all clean I, I did the whole kit it was uh put it on the supper table last night and there's my new plugs i got from longview texas the old ones were wet they weren't even old but when this fuel pump blew out it sent gas in the engine and flooded everything out and I could smell the gas in there when I was putting this seal, that old gas. Put fresh gas in it. Um, the slide needs repair to re replace. Those are re a real doozy. The slides on these vintage sleds up to 1978 about, or they're pop riveted on. So I never wanted to do that again. And I'll have to tip the sled up on a side. I wasn't going to do it. If I had to... I'd have had to pull the engine and and rent a puller to get that flywheel off the mag side if that seal was blown um, and if it didn't run smooth and I think I've got it running pretty good actually it, it'll start on the first pull and um, to where I can put some more money in it and but it's just a toy basically 
unless you have a lot of snow out, then you really have to have it. It's a lifesaver then. I'll be ready when it snows. Uh, I'll put some more new parts on it. I just I just keep making it better and everything. It, it, it could use it, you know. And even in the looks department, start getting that guy out and uh, getting it ready. Haven't haven't rode the sled much in the last couple years, but yeah, that one year was a 300 mile year, and uh, it's really nice to have a snowmobile around and the motorcycle and they're they're pretty useful tools actually. My brother went to a swap meet the other day, and I thought he had a bicycle in the back of his truck, and heck, he, he bought a dirt bike. But anyway, just a little... Yeah, they are nice, and uh, Har Harlow would really miss us that when, when that's down, because we run back to the pond and uh, everything. So, yeah, I'm going to go and get some lunch now. Thank you for watching my videos, everyone. Beauregard Rippy here, getting the panther running smooth again. Enjoy your weekend.